Love playing games like unpacking where you can casually unpack items, decorate, and mindfully play? Well, here's a list of games that we found that are somewhat similar or give off similar vibes that you might want to consider snagging, and also future games that are yet to be released. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. For those who don't know, Unpacking is a relaxing cozy game that has you literally unpacking your items into a new home. It involves light puzzling with certain items fitting in certain places, and it gives off no pressure. These types of games are really great, especially with the world we live in now, where everything is about fast-paced hustle and bustle, and where a lot of gamers encounter more complex objectives and stories. I would even say that these games are even great for your mental health to promote mindfulness and meditation. Our first game on the list was released back in 2022, and that's A Little to the Left. This game has you stacking and sorting household objects into the right spots. This gives a very relaxing, but maybe not relaxing to some depending on how you see it, with a little touch of a light puzzler game. There are multiple solutions to each design, so it makes it easy and a great game to play for those who are more casual. Another part I love about it is it has a let it be option that allows you to skip levels and a hint option that lets you choose how much of a hint you want to make things more easy going. You can find this and its cupboard and drawer version out right now for PC, Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox. Do you love the process of a Rubik's Cube but with a more soothing twist? Then Shape of Things might be for you. In this 3D puzzler game, it has you retrieving objects from gachapons and manipulating the object to find its original shape. We love the simplicity of this game with no pressure, no timer, and you can set your own cozy playing screen as you like it. And if you're playing on PC, you can actually play it with one hand while sipping tea with the other. This game is released on PC and Switch. Want to take this type of game genre through a more artistic perspective? Behind the Frame, The Finest Scenery is a puzzle-solving game that follows an aspiring artist to complete her masterpiece. You get to paint, sketch, and retouch your artworks, all the while exploring the panoramic world with a slight escape room-esque feel to it. This game's artistic feel is definitely giving off Miyazaki or Studio Ghibli vibes, and is a nice twist from the other art and game styles we mentioned in this video. They do have a demo on Steam right now if you wanted to give it a try before purchasing, and is on various platforms like PC, Switch, PlayStation, and even Android and Mac OS. Ever wanted to run your own sticker shop business? Then you should check out Sticky Business. Combine different elements to build out your own sticker collection to the theme that you like it, and also appeal to various customers. And of course, with every small business, you pack orders, hear about your customers who buy your products, and upgrade your stickers and packaging to make it extra cute to increase profit so you can upgrade your store more. And for you content creators or streamers, this game also has a Twitch integration that allows viewers to be your in-game customers. You can also snag this game either in a bundle with its DLC version Plan With Me, or with other previous games that we've talked about like A Little To The Left. This game is out right now on PC and Mac OS. From the studio that brought you the game Monument Valley brings a game about following a journey of an antique restorer named Maria as she comes to the town Bella Riva on a journey about helping them save their most beloved possessions. You get to fix and place different parts of a broken object in order to figure out how to get it working again, and what's really sweet about this game is that it's set and inspired by the 80s, which either brings back nostalgic feelings for some players or introduce new objects to younger players. This is really great since it can teach a lot of basics on how to repair items in a fun way. This game with its handcrafted and hand illustrated story is now out for PC and even on Android and Mac OS. Next game gives us a great mix between cultural and cozy, and that's Venba. You get to play as an Indian mom who immigrates to Canada with her family set in the 1980s who connects with her loved ones through food. I love that you get to cook all these authentic dishes and learn about the ingredients around them. And the best part, they say you can actually try them out in real life after since they're inspired by real life cuisine. Just know that this game is more of a short play and is around 1-2 to two hours, so just know that before purchasing. This game is out right now for Switch, PlayStation, PC, and Xbox. Next, we have a 3D relaxing game that revolves around arranging items and furniture as you play as a girl who moves from her childhood home in the 1990s to different places as she grows up, and that's moving through life. Although influenced by unpacking, the main difference is that the items that you choose in this game have an influence on the story, whereas unpacking does not. The only thing that some players have wished to see more is the customization in terms of coloring or more variations in furniture style, but for its low price and even sometimes going low as $250, it might not be a big deal for some. This game is out right now for PC and has other versions as well coming this year called Fable Furnish. Cat lovers rejoice, cause this next game is a 2D puzzler that lets you arrange various cat friends in a little grid and that's cats organized neatly. 
There are 30 various cats to befriend, collect, and organize while handcrafted levels give you a little bit of brain work and is a great game to play on a short amount of time. This game is out right now for PC and Switch and it also has a dog variation for us dog lovers called Dogs Organize Neatly. Now this next one was actually a big hit in our own gaming community and circle and that's Garden Galaxy. In this more relaxing creative sandbox game, you get to discover different furniture items, plants, and other decorations and organize them in the garden in any way you like. I just personally love the art style of this game and the little interactions and animations that the objects have and it's a perfect decorating minimal game. This game is out right now for PC and also has a demo out that you can try before buying. Next we'll go into some games that are like unpacking but haven't been released as of yet. But they're looking really great so hopefully they get a release date of this year or in the near future. Want to relive some of your experiences of moving out of your childhood home? I know I do sometimes and that's why I might be playing Simpler Times. You play as Taina as you get to unravel her experiences that expands over 10 years of her life with various moments and seasons. All this is paired with no timers, no scores, or combat. And I really love how you have more simpler tasks that you get to do in this game that bring some of us back, just like taking pictures with a Polaroid camera or painting some basic watercolors. This next game really captured my heart when I first saw its trailer and that's Camper Van Make It Home. This cute game invites you not only to organize and decorate your home in a space in a camper van, but also lets you discover along the way of why your character had embarked on this journey in the first place. Objects will have their own interactive elements as you arrive at different destinations in your van, and you get to adapt and rearrange your items to the environment. And of course, nothing is cuter than having a special companion pet alongside your journey. This cute aesthetic game is still in its Kickstarter phase, and we're still waiting for an announcement date as of now. Our next game is one that I'm really excited for as well, and that's on my personal wish list, and that's Tiny Bookshop. In this game, you're leaving everything behind in life and opening your own tiny bookshop by the sea in this little tiny traveling store. While you're discovering your scenic surroundings and getting to know the locals in the area, you get to organize your collection of books and decorations just the way you like it, and also to what the locals like to read as well. This beautiful narrative game is giving me some vibes as Camper Van Make It Home and is set to release on PC and Mac OS when it does release. Planning out a cute little castles with no management or combat comes a game called Tiny Glade. This relaxing free-forming building game has you building out castles and its surrounding areas with no wrong answers and letting you interact with small things around it like the landscapes and the sheep. Really nice to see a game that really gives you that creative freedom to build out the type of buildings and structures you like no matter how big, small, or oddly shaped it is. Even though they don't have an announcement date as of yet, they've been working on things such as expanding more roof controls, better window interactions, and other things. This game is set to release sometime in Q3 of this year for PC. Our next game is another game decorator but with an interesting twist and that's Memento. The thing that makes this game really unique is that although you're just decorating in your room and other games, in this one you have to decide which items you would like to keep or not and as you decorate, those items that you do keep at each stage determines how your life is played out narratively. And that's a pretty cute twist. On top of that, there are a lot of different meanings behind each object and hidden endings with lots of small easter egg puzzles. Paired with a peaceful soundtrack and this cute art style, this game doesn't have a release date as of yet and only is so far known to release for PC. But wishlist this item on Steam and sign up for their newsletter to keep updated. Next is a cozy 3D puzzle game that has an aesthetic that is just to die for, and that's Widow. This has the player assembling scenes in a big wooden area piece by piece as you follow the story of the narrator. The main concept of the story is to have you bring back a lot of childhood memories all the while bringing comfort. I adore the art style so much of this game, and the word really brings the most coziest vibes and reminds you of those simple days where when you were playing with wood blocks as a kid. As of now, this game doesn't have a release date as of yet, but it is planned for a PC release and most likely a Switch release. Feel free to wishlist it on Steam and follow their main website for continued updates. Did any of these games intrigue you? Did I miss a game that you think is like unpacking that I should have been on this list? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Again, I'm Jen, one half of the Ginger Gaming Duo, and I'll see you guys on the next Cozy Update. Bye!